Hello, guys. I'm Duncan here. Hello, everyone. So today I'm gonna make another video about a beer. I'm gonna be tasting it. I'm gonna be reviewing it, and I'm gonna be rating it. Um, the beer that we are gonna look be looking at today is uh, this one. It's a Danish beer from uh, Vibro Brewery. It's a porter, an imperial stout. Um, I've never tried this one before. I've actually never seen this one before, I think. It's only 10 Danish crowns, so it's really, really cheap for a craft beer. It's 8.2% uh, alcohol. And um, yeah, so let's uh, dive into it. And I still don't have a proper uh, beer opener, so still just using a a knife from the uh, from the drawer in the kitchen. And uh, once again, using these awesome beer mugs from uh, Eik Baga, a Danish. Um, what's that called? It's a Danish guy who who made them. Um, it's a Danish designer. I just lost the word, so there it was. But just to be make sure, uh, no sponsored content on this. Uh, mm -hmm. I bought these mm -hmm. uh, things myself, and I also bought the, the beer myself. So no sponsored content, as always. And also, uh, everything on this channel is uh, just my opinion and my looks on things and what I think. So if you feel something different, think something different, then, then that's just fine. But this is this is my opinion. Um, 45 degrees with the glass and 45 degrees with the beer and then uh, pour in the beginning nice and easy and then maybe a little bit faster if the foam doesn't quite develop it looks really dark also the foam I knew that the beer would be dark but the foam is uh, is uh, is quite dark as well so it's probably quite quite heavy and quite strong beer so it looks beautiful in my opinion and it a uh, perfect amount for the um, for the glass for the beer mug um, yeah oh a little bit sweetness other than that just roasted malts Maybe even a little bit of barley. Normally, uh, these uh, stouts, uh, the roasted malt, uh, kind of uh, drowns every all the malt and all the other barley and all the other things put in to make it. It's a little bit sweet, roasted malt, and a little bit of barley. Now for the taste. It's nice. It's really nice. It's actually really, really, really nice. Um, there's some caramel. That's the sweetness. A little bit of bitter licorice in the end. There's also hints of coffee, I think. In the beginning, it's a roasted malt. Then there's the, some sweetness, which goes into caramel, coffee, and then a bitter licorice. That's what I get, anyway. There's quite a lot of bitterness at the end, and you can uh, sense, you, you kind of feel that it's a quite strong beer. If you don't like the bitterness, you're probably not going to like this beer because there's a lot of that in the in, at the end. So, but in my opinion, it's a really nice beer. Yeah, it's just it's just what I like. These all black beers with a lot of alcohol and a lot of roasted malts and um yeah. 
just like I like it. So, as you probably know, if you've watched this uh, channel before, you know that I like these colors label. I think this label is is nice, uh, simple, but the color fits to this kind of beer. Um, the the bottle is just a normal beer bottle in Denmark, so that's kind of boring, and it's not green like. It's more of a something in between brown and and green, so the bottle is is boring, but the uh, the label is nice, and then this golden necklace or whatever you want, a necktie you want to call that. It's called something like that in Danish. Um, that looks pretty good. So, but ten crowns is extremely cheap. That's like two English pounds. That's like no, that's actually like one English pound and two American dollars. So that's really cheap for a for a beer of this a craft beer like this with that much alcohol in it. So yeah, pretty good beer in my opinion. If you take into consideration of the of the price I'm probably gonna rate it a nine because it's so extremely cheap it's nowhere as good as the Roche 410 or the uh, Imperial Stout that I got from uh, Midfunes Brewery a couple of weeks ago but it's so much cheaper uh, Midfunes Brewery the Imperial Stout is 30 crowns and that was for half a liter this is uh, 30 33 centiliters so but it's still a lot ex more expensive the rush for is actually 50 crowns for a bottle this size so that's like 20 percent of the price so that's extremely cheap the taste isn't as good nowhere near as good but if you compare the price then it's a really good beer I think I'm gonna put it at an 8.5. I know a lot of beers and a lot of tastings that I've done lately has has uh, has landed around that. Um, but that's just because I like these beers, so naturally I'm gonna score them high. So really nice next time i think i'm gonna be tasting um a ginger beer uh to me it's not really a beer but it's called a beer so i'm gonna be tasting and reviewing the, uh, a ginger beer uh, and from then on i'm gonna be moving over to lagers and ipas instead of these uh imperial stouts and porters so naturally the uh the rating is going to drop because these that i've started with is my favorites and i also like ibas and i also like uh, lagers but just not as much they're not my kind of um of uh, beer really um yeah so there you have it that's my opinion 8.5 for the vibro porter the Imperial Stout. It might actually this porter that might actually be translated into Imperial Stout, and that's why they. And then Stout is is like. I know I don't know what a lighter version of porter maybe, because a, a Guinness is a stout, and that's only four point two percent alcohol, I think. This is an imperial stout, and that's 8.2, so that, that that might be what it means. A porter is a stronger beer. Some people like to do this half and half. You can actually go into a, a bar or an, a pub in Denmark and order a half and half, and you would, you would get this, half of this, and half of a lager mixed together. That's actually a thing in Denmark. A lot of people do that just to kind of tone down all the uh, roasted malt and all the bitterness in this beer but still get the taste of it i think that's why they do it i think uh, it ruins it ruins it i would never do it it's like it's like putting 
Coke into a uh, really good bottle of whiskey. I would never, ever, ever do that. It's like blasphemy for me. So, yeah. But that's it. 8.5 for this beer. Vipo Porta, the Imperial Stout. Uh, cheers, everyone. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. And um, if you think that there's things that I do should do differently, please comment. And um, also, if you have ideas for, for other videos that I should make, I just got a lot of beer in my mustache. Um, if you think there's other videos that I should make, please uh, leave a comment about that. And if you want to see more like this, please uh, subscribe to this channel, channel and hit that like button. Or I mean that bell button, sorry. And uh, also go check out my Instagram account. It's uh, Dongan underscore. And uh, give me a follow if you uh, if you like what you see. There's a lot of um, pictures and small uh, video clips of me drinking beer and drinking other nice stuff. But also just beard, beard pictures and uh, workout videos. I work out every morning and um, I post pictures and small video clips from that every morning. So uh, yeah, go check it out if you want to and give me a follow. Thank you. Bye.